Bison's been rumbling. He's been rumbling for days and I haven't been able to catch it on video. Yes, I'm talking about you, Bison. You're not so innocent anymore. Pippi. Go rumble at him. Go rumble at him. Come on, Pippi. Okay, baby boy. You don't even fit on the scale anymore. Look at that. You've doubled in, in weight. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. What do we got? 676, 677. Good job. Good job. Come here. Let me see. What a big boy. What a big boy. So fuzzy, Bison. You're still a little boy, but you're getting big. He's doubled in size. We're practicing being calm and sweet and being held and enjoying it. So I just wanted to do a check-in update. A lot of people were asking about how's Bison? Is he still getting along with Micah? So he has been rumbling mostly at Pipsqueak through the bars, through the, the grids, when Pipsqueak comes over. Which is to be expected. He's about two months old now. Oh, you hear my tummy. That's my tummy grumbling. <laughs> you should know what that sounds like. So, the only thing that I can really report is that Micah has been chasing him a little bit. I feel two little scabs on his butt. And Bison has been a little skittish around Micah. He will run. He hops up on top of his fiddlesticks tunnel. Did you just sit down? He's like laying down. That's nice. Um, I'm hoping they can come to an understanding. I really don't want him to be afraid of Micah and to like have to feel like he's always got to sit on top of the, the tunnel. Micah sleeps a lot like any pig and so There are times when he can have the run of the cage. If it gets bad, if he's being terrorized, if they actually do have like a real falling out, then I'll separate them. I'll put him somewhere. I'll try to bond him with somebody else. But I'm really hoping that he can work it out with Micah. Because I want, I'd love to tell people that the odds of a baby growing up and staying bonded with an adult are better than 50-50. That's just been my experience. Let me know in the comments if you've bonded a baby to your adult male and how did it go? And we can take a average of all those comments, and that might be, you know, a rather objective way. But just in my experience, it's been worse than 50 50. What a sweet, sweet boy. So, really, he's doubled in size in about six weeks 
which is to be expected. I haven't trimmed his nails yet. They're still kind of little baby claws, and his back nails are not, they're not quite ready. But he's, he knows the routine. He anticipates his morning carrot and his evening veggies. And he's still a little skittish of me. But we're working on it. Just got to spend more time holding him, picking him up. So... Look at that nose. Look at that lips. Look at those teeth. Let me see. I did just check his teeth. Let me see these bottom teeth. They look good. He looks good. I wouldn't expect any health issues necessarily to be manifesting themselves yet. But he's my dream pig. He's a dream pig. A red eye, white teddy with sort of a lilac. We call this a lilac, even though this is sort of kind of a orangey tan. I don't know if the camera picks up the true colors. But we sort of call it a lilac. So that's it. No news is good news. No drama is good drama. No drama is good news. But the best news is that he's doubled in weight. And he's starting to rumble. Which is not... It's not good or bad. It just is just is what to be expected. Look at that. You like that? Did you hear that, Bison? That's Phil chewing on the Coroplast like a bad kid. You would never do that because you're still a good boy. You're not going to learn those bad habits. No, you're not. You okay? You want to take a little nap with me? We earned it. Let's take a nap. See those, those weights over there? We earned it, a little five-minute cat nap, huh? Okay. Let's take a nap. Well, I hope that answers everybody's questions about bison. If there's any more updates, I'll be sure to give them. In one of my recent videos, he was popcorning and running around and jumping up and down in the background, and that's what he does. He's a happy, safe, healthy boy, and we're going to keep it that way. Right? One of these days, I'll catch some footage of him rumbling. He hasn't rumbled for me, like if I scratch him. Oh, there he just did. Did you hear that? Oh, shoot. That's the first time he's been able to do that. Do it. Because he has bristly fur, so the way you normally can get piggies to do it is kind of going backwards. And his fur is too sensitive. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. You're growing up. Okay, everybody. Until next time. Thanks for watching.